we know that work done is equal to force into displacement in si units the uh, the unit of force is newton and the unit of displacement is meter and the final unit for work done is joule in cgs units okay centimeter gram second okay centimeter gram second we have the the unit of force is dyne okay the cg system the unit of force is dyne the unit of displacement is centimeter so when they ask what is the unit of work in cg system you have to write as erg erg not as joule okay the question will be asked as what is the relationship between joule and erg so 1 joule is equal to that is joule work done in a si unit is equal to 1 newton into 1 meter so 1 newton is equal to 10 to the power 5 dyne that is unit of cg system into 1 meter is 100 cm now we have 1 joule is equal to 10 to the power 7 erg here because you know that work done okay is equal to work done cg is equal to dyne into centimeter is equal to erg so here dyne and centimeter so the final unit becomes 1 joule is equal to 10 to the power 7 erg okay dyne dyne is a measure of surface energy so some may be wondering what what is the unit dyne uh, used for okay higher the dyne better the paint and glue adherence to the surface suppose if you paint uh, make a paint on the surface of a uh, container okay or a cylinder or a the thermal cylinder so we have to in order to find out how much a paint adheres to a particular material suppose if they paint it on steel what is the amount of adherence means how much of attachment okay to the particular surface but uh, so suppose if they paint it on copper what is the amount of uh, adherence to the surface the higher the uh, dyne dyne value the higher the adherence or attachment 